I got something cool going on here. I have a little tiny Arduino board. And the pinout is going to the transistor, which is acting as a switch. And what I did was I hacked one of these, uh, these cables here. There's TRS stereo cables, and I just uh, put some alligator clips on the leads there. But one to ground, one to tip. Set my radio with... Uh, First of all, I turned off brake so it wouldn't actually transmit. I just wanted to hear the tones. Then I set the keyer off so that I could actually uh, operate the radio like a straight keyer. And so what the Arduino is doing is it's translating something I programmed into the board, which is a uh, beacon signal. I got this LED in series. I didn't know if it would work with the LED, if the LED would drain too much. And I think that's like a 430 ohm resistor. But uh, it all seems to work as I had originally planned. So that's the proof of concept. Now I just gotta actually put it all on a semi-permanent board and then I can actually have a plug-in beacon. Basically all this, these, uh, these four components here, the board, the resistor, LED, and transistor, along with the hacked cable that I just found in my drawer there, um, all in a nice container of some kind could be a standalone, very tiny CW beacon. And if I were to hit this button right here, that would turn on the full brake and it would transmit this. Now I think the radio is set to like 70 watts, so I don't really want to do that. If you're wondering what it's sending, if your CW isn't that great, uh, I programmed it to 18 words per minute and it's sending VBVDE86DM slash B CM98HB, which is testing from Dennis uh, 86DM uh, and my grid, my uh, Maidenhead grid location, which is CM98HB, which is uh, kind of southern uh, Lodi, northern Stockton. So, this is really cool. I am really amazed that it all came together. And you guys will be seeing more about this in its completed form, hopefully soon.